State police identifies the 16-year-old boy killed during a police chase earlier this morning as Michael Saavedra Fernandez of New Orleans. And the crash also injured a 13-year-old New Orleans girl. This happened around 3 this morning. The Iberville Parish Sheriff's Office says a deputy spotted a vehicle driving recklessly on I-10 near Gross Tate just outside of Baton Rouge. The vehicle initially pulled over before taking off and eventually crashing in Point Capi Parish. As Chris Welty reports, the sheriff believes the chase was the right decision. And in your opinion, you feel like your deputies, they, they did the right thing by chasing well, this vehicle. you know, you've always going to have lawyers and you're going to have people second guess you forever. Iberville Parish Sheriff Brett Stassi says his deputies did not know the SUV was stolen and that two teens were in the vehicle. When his deputies made the initial stop, Stassi says the driver did not roll down the window and took off. I just wish he would have rolled down the window and said, look, I'm, I'm in... I should be driving, That's, and that would have been the end. Stassi says the driver was reckless and his deputies needed to get the driver off the road. The chase ended on LA 411 after deputies deployed spike strips. The SUV drove a little over a mile before crashing into a tree and catching fire in Point Capi Parish. The deputies tried with no avail with a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. Uh, we never talked to the man or saw that he, he survived even the wreck, but he, we were unable to get him out the vehicle prior to the fire. Deputies rescued a 13-year-old passenger from the vehicle. After the crash, deputies learned that the vehicle was reportedly stolen out of New Orleans and was involved in several hit and runs. According to and, the sheriff, uh, the girl said she was in the know, car with her boyfriend. Just thank God no other person was hurt. It's a shame that this young man lost his life. In New Orleans, NOPD must receive prior approval before initiating a pursuit. Sheriff Stassi believes there should be a statewide policy on pursuits and stiffer penalties if someone chooses to run. These no pursuit policy areas may be hurting other law enforcement agencies by the policies that they invoke. Sheriff Stassi did not have details on the max speed this pursuit reached. He says the area is rural and the road has lots of curves. The sheriff says there's no dash cam video of the pursuit and his department does not have body cameras at this time. And that was Chris Welty reporting Louisiana State Police is leading this investigation.